And here we go with another rambly video that I'm gonna read off my computer screen about being bullied as a child. Um, I do mention depression in this. I'm, I'm going to be mentioning depression, eating disorders, and suicidal thoughts. So if any of that uh, is triggering to you or will bother you, don't watch this. Go do something happy, because this ain't that. Yay. Um, I'm just going to be reading this again off my laptop like I did with the previous video. Um, I'm going to be inserting pictures. I don't know where, so if I mention a picture, hopefully I will be having it on the screen somewhere. Uh, the first picture that will be popping up here, uh, I remember it very well. I remember the day very well. It's a picture of me when I was in 6th grade. I was about 11 years old. It was school pictures. Um, you know, when you get those really cute pictures done at the beginning of your school year. That's what it was. Um, I was wearing my favorite dress, and I felt really good about my outfit. I thought I looked really cute. Um, when I got home from school that day, my older sister and her boyfriend were in the basement, in what is <laughs> now my bedroom. Um, I don't really remember what specifically led up to the uh, comment that her boyfriend made to me. But I walked downstairs to see what they were up to. They were hanging out in like this kind of common area of the basement. And he looked at me, and he looked at my sister. And he looks back at me and he looks back at my sister and goes doesn't she look pregnant is she pregnant and uh, I immediately started bawling my eyes out so like the room is like I'm literally looking at this right here the room's kind of on an angle so it's like here so it's kind of in the corner you come down the stairs and the room's right there and then sort of on an angle across and that so here is the bathroom so I ran into the bathroom I locked myself in it and I just started bawling my eyes out and I sat down there for probably over an hour bawling my eyes out um you know I was it was really hard for me because I was a kid that's been bullied pretty much my whole life at school at my trailer park where we we camp um have every summer uh as well as comments made to me about my weight from like relatives including my parents and grandparents and my sister and obviously people don't like my relatives don't like deliberately mean it in a demeaning way um but sometimes it's just how things come out and it's things that you really shouldn't say to a kid because it's going to affect a kid differently than an adult and kids don't really understand that you might just be looking out for their health or their well-being, but when you tell a kid, like, you can't have dessert or something like that, it's like, why don't I get to have dessert when so-and-so gets to have dessert kind of thing. Um, anyway, and it's something that will stick with you longer because when things hurt you as a kid, they're different than how they hurt you as an adult. Um, anyway, looking back on this specific photo, um, when I was around that age, I didn't actually think I was that chubby as I had been, you know, in previous years or, like, the Christmas prior to. Um, I definitely wasn't as heavy as I was going to get, which my heaviest weight was, uh, the heaviest weight I saw on the scale was 210 pounds. I don't know what my heaviest weight actually was. I didn't weigh myself. I'm thinking it was probably only about 215. Um, I don't think I was much heavier than, than that, because 210, like, that's when I started was like, I should probably do something about this, because I was having a lot of other side effects of health issues, which did kind of relate to my weight. Didn't kind of, it did relate to my weight. Um, anyway, I already experienced some depression at this point. I didn't know what depression was. So it was just general sadness. Um, and I didn't know what the feeling of wanting to die was, but that's where I was at, which started around the age 11. For a long time, I never felt safe from abusive words. And that's when my anxiety started. I started having suicidal thoughts, uh, self-harming and completely isolating myself when I was about 11 to 12 years old. Again, at sixth grade when, um, my bullying kind of got more worse like more people and it was more effective to me um I turned to food to come for me which you know I already uh in a previous video expressed I had uh binge eating for comfort and I attempted purging a few times but I couldn't do it because I'm one of those people that has a fear of throwing up so that never really worked out for me which is probably a good thing in hindsight so I never actually did binge or purge but I just binged and it continued throughout the rest of elementary school, so grade six, seven, eight, through to high school, um, all the way through to college. Um, my f first year of college, like end of first year going into second year that summer, um, I went to a doctor's and I got medications for anxiety and depression and insomnia, and when I, um, which did help. It put me in a much better place. Uh, then I kind of just felt better about myself when I was able to work on myself from getting the medications and being able to get out of my comfort zone and be able, able to be able to be more confident 
uh, be more open with friends, have a relationship, all that fun stuff. So I actually was able to get off my medic medications and um, still be able to work on myself and still be a better person. I definitely still have anxiety. I definitely still have depression. My anxiety is really the main one, which I think that's a lot of things to do with my age group. Um, a lot of people in there that are in their 20s now, a lot of people that are teenagers now have really bad anxiety. Don't know why. We just do. Um, anyway, I know I'm in a much happier, much healthier place now, both mentally and physically. Like I said, I have gained weight back during the pandemic that we are in currently. Um, because this is during the, uh, good old coronavirus. I think I stick on my teeth. Um, anyway. And in this time I have, I did initially lose about 60 pounds, 65 pounds. Uh, I have probably gained, you know, 15 to 20 pounds back during the pandemic. It's, you know, it's been a lockdown for, for, uh, over two months for me personally. I don't know when I'm going back to work yet. My sleep schedule's off. My eating schedules are off. What I'm eating is unhealthy. It's just, you know, a mess. I can't go to my gym and I'm the person where the whole reason I signed up for my gym is because even though I have a couple of weights at home and I have a treadmill at home, I have a hard time actually motivating myself to work out when I'm at home. I have to physically go somewhere to do it, whether it be uh, a gym or like outdoor workout park kind of thing where like you have like the outdoor equipment. Um, which there isn't really anywhere around me like that, plus anywhere there is, is closed due to the pandemic right now. So, yeah, that's where that's at. Uh, I've learned to accept myself um, for who I am, for who I was before being able to change who I knew I, what does this sentence say? I had to learn to accept myself for who I was before being able to change what I, what I knew wasn't good for me. Wow, okay, why did I write it like that? Yes, I had to, uh, Eventually, once I found the confidence in myself, that's when I was actually able to make the changes. For years and years and years, I, you know, I never actually wanted to put the effort in to make the changes. Now I have. Now I'm happy with my body. I'm not insecure about my body. I'm able to make those changes because I, I, I made it to a place where I was confident in myself, but I knew I wasn't healthy. And that's why I started making the changes. I'm not trying to have any health problems with there already being health problems, both diabetes, di diabetes um, cancer, heart and strokes like heart heart attacks strokes all run in my family um so you know in order to kind of prevent those kinds of things working on your health is what you gotta do uh, i don't have any real reason for sharing this story other than hopefully it might help someone else if anyone happens to come across this video and be in a similar situation to me which was basically as a, to sum this up being bullied as a kid being bullied throughout your teen years being really insecure depressed borderline suicidal self-harming uh then to kind of have this epiphany and realize hey I'm actually a good person hey I'm not trash because of how I look how I look there's nothing wrong with it and realize hey I look good regardless of this that and the next thing it's just finding your confidence and being happy and realizing I'm not as healthy as I could be but I'm happy in my body and changing it anyway thank you for watching if anyone does watch this and uh have a great day and if you see this during the pandemic stay safe stay healthy bye